What's going on folks, Antoine here with Core Cutter Lifestyle and Tech and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to manually set up your new TiVo Stream 4K remote to control your TVs, power and volume. And I'm also going to show you guys how to do a global reset. So before we get into it real quick, generally on streaming devices like this, you can just go into the settings, go down to remote and accessories and in this menu it'll give you different options on setting up the remote to control your tv power your sound system um, power and volume as well but for some reason um, that feature isn't on here yet so just as an example and for future preference we're going to go to another streaming device i have here uh, which has the exact same interface it's the sling air tv mini just so you guys can see and know what you have to do um, if they add this feature. So see on the Sling Air TV Mini, we're going down to Remote and Accessories. And we're gonna click on our remote. And you see right here, we have different options. We can set up our TV, and we can also set up an audio source, or audio, like a, a AV receiver or a sound bar, anything like that. So that's how I look. So to get into programming our TiVo stream just go back to our other input so on your TiVo remote you want to press and hold that TiVo button and your power button simultaneously for about three seconds so you see you're gonna get a solid light from there press zero nine 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 so you're gonna get a couple blinks and then it's gonna turn solid so from here just Start pressing the up button slow until the TV powers off. So once your TV powers off, press the OK button to lock that code in. Now, if you're not sure if you pass the code up, go ahead and hit back a couple times till the TV turns back on. And then, you know, press up till it turns off. Just you want to get into a place where you know you're on the code so you can lock it in. You can press that OK button, that center button right there to lock it in. So just going to wait on the TV to boot back up. And then after this, we're going to get into the global reset settings. Um, and then I'm going to explain or kind of give you some examples of why you may want to globally reset your uh, remote control so just want to confirm here that our volume is working as you see right here at the bottom of the screen our volume is working so the code did work so global reset now you may want to globally reset your remote if you move the tv stream 4k to another room in your house and maybe the tv maybe two tv maybe the old tv is close to maybe the old location is close to the new location and when you're pressing the volume button on one device it's controlling the other one so you you, you want to clear out all the codes in the tv remote and just start fresh so to do that you're going to press and hold the tivo and the power button again for three seconds you know, make sure you press it simultaneously all right so you're gonna press the volume down button three times one two three and press the TiVo button it's going to clear out all the codes in the remote there we go a couple blinks now it's it pretty much cleared out everything it's not even controlling the TiVo stream anymore so that blinking amber light means it's in search mode so we on the parent screen is going to automatically repair on its own and we all set folks if you have any issues getting this set up hit me up in the comment section um i do have a review of the tivo stream 4k coming out and i will also be doing a giveaway on one of the um the tivo stream 4k so stick around for that folks uh, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you guys next time.